BYU vending machines are stocked with everything from granola bars to ice cream. Reporter Christy Jacinto gives us an inside look at all that's done to keep BYU students well fed and happy. Students often stop at the vending machines to grab either their favorite snack or a quick meal, but few know all of the work that's done to get those items on the shelf and keep them fresh. Every morning we get papers that are essentially the orders that the drivers put together when they go to the, the vending machine. So they see what they're missing and then they tell us what we need to, to put into the bins so that we can always have full vending machines. Dakota says there's a specific way to load the bins in order to make it easier for the next part of the process. So the stuff that's at the bottom, it goes at the top of the vending machine. And so when the drivers open up the bins, they, the stuff that they grab from the top is the stuff that goes on the bottom. After the warehouse employees get the orders boxed up and ready, the route drivers take the bins to campus to start filling the machines. They stock the products in a special way that helps preserve the food. You always have up to like pick, pick the stuff that's the freshest and rotate it so that it, it gets bought before it, it expires. The BYU vending manager, Kurt Fairbank, says because they have so many vending locations, it can be difficult figuring out how many items to put in each machine because they don't want the products to sit and go bad. In some machines, we double up on product so that we don't have to go to them every day, just every other day. Some machines sell out so fast, we have to go twice a day. He says expiration dates are the least of their worries with a few of their products. Some are so popular that their biggest concern is making sure those items stay stocked. Chocolate milk is consistently the most popular product in the BYU vending machines, and Kurt says they've sold over 50,000 bottles this year alone. It is the most consistent product bought at every location that we have. Kurt showed me how he reviews the reports to see how many units they've sold of each item. Based on those numbers, he can order the right amount each week from the several distributors BYU Vending works with. Our fresh stuff comes in five times a week so that we can make sure that gets made in the morning, we get that fresh, but most everything else comes in once a week or every other week between the four other uh, vendors that we receive product from. Because vending relies on these deliveries, Kurt says they face big problems in the months where the roads are bad. The companies who provide the food, other than the fresh food, are located outside of Provo, and making on-time deliveries is sometimes impossible. And so if we're expecting a delivery at 8, we end up getting it at 5 that day if it's coming from Salt Lake. Some of the stuff that we have come out of Denver, it's been two or three days that, that it's taken for them to, to ship something to us when they close I-80. And then the truck just can't make it through. And so we just have to wait and hope we have enough in the warehouse to cover it. Sometimes the machines run out. If students see a machine that has run out of a product or they have an issue of any type with a vending machine, BYU Vending has provided ways for students to notify them so the problem can be addressed. They can email the dining website and that gets forwarded to us. They can email the vending website as well and we respond to that as fast as we can. And then you can also scan the QR code that's on each machine. If a student is on campus and is looking for a vending machine, there's a vending tab on the BYU phone app and the student can find the closest location or type in a specific product to find the closest machines that have that product in stock. Christy Jacinto, BYU Weekly.